Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. For today's random Thursday video, I wanted to talk about books. I don't know about you, but I love books. I love reading. I have accumulated a lot of books over the years and I wanted to show you guys some of my favorites. Today I will be showing you two of my favorite book series. Now if you're not into reading or books, you obviously don't have to watch this video. You can go watch one of my more fun videos. But for those of you who love to read, I hope you guys engage with me and this video on this topic. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions on some new books to read because I've been in kind of a rut when it comes to reading. So while you're watching this, hopefully you guys can come up with some suggestions for me so I can read something new. Otherwise, let's do this thing. So the first series I have is one that I actually, I went on to Google and I googled some of like popular young adult series and this series came up and so that's what kind of got me to buy these books. This is the Dark Divine series. Um, there are three books in the series so the first one is called The Dark Divine. The second one is called The Lost Saint. So this one's blue. And then the last one is called The Savage Grace. Did I finish this one? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I finished this one. What am I talking about? Okay. So this book series is by author Brie Despain. This is a young adult fantasy novel. And I will say, this is about werewolves <laughs> so if you're someone who is like all against you know the fantasy type stuff that's all hyped up nowadays and you think it's just stupid then obviously don't read these but I mean you gotta focus on the fact that it's just a really good series and give it a chance before you go judging the subject matter so one of the things that I love about these books are the covers they are so beautiful you get like usually it's legs and some kind of pretty colored um, sheet so I'll show you the other one this is for the lost saint so I love the covers they are just so beautiful I love them so the first two I have are the um, what is it called paperback so I have the two paperback and then the one hardcover this series is about a girl named Grace she is a teenage girl who has kind of a complicated family history and she has an older brother and her older brother's best friend. They are all kind of the main characters in the series and I absolutely love this series. This is my favorite series of all time, I think I would say. But um, I will read the back of the first one to you guys so you can get an idea of what it's about. So it says, a prodigal son, a dangerous love, a deadly secret. Grace Divine, which is where you get the name of the first book, A Dark Divine. Her last name is Divine. So Grace Divine, daughter of the local pastor, always knew something terrible happened the night Daniel Calby disappeared and her brother Jude came home covered in his own blood. Now that Daniel's returned, Grace must choose between her growing attraction to him and her loyalty to her brother. As Grace gets closer to Daniel, she learns the truth about that mysterious night and how to save the one she loves. Ones that she loves. But it might cost her the one thing she cherishes most, her soul. So yeah, it sounds a little bit daunting and mysterious. You will get more into kind of the backstory behind everything as you read, obviously. It's got a mystery to it, it's suspenseful, there's fantasy, obviously it's fiction, but it does kind of give you a relatable main character, Grace, and I love her character. Um, even though she's the daughter of a pastor, don't get it wrong, it's not like some super religious book, so don't worry about that. But um, it's very dark, and I just, I love this series so much. Once you start reading it, you can't you can't stop. It's one of those books that is that addicting. I've read the first one at least like three times and honestly I'm kind of surprised they haven't tried to make a movie out of them. But they are just really good. I would recommend them if you're into fantasy or if you just love those kind of 
love stories those dark love stories i'm into all that you know i'm cheesy like that the next series is basically it's also my favorite series of all time i guess now that i've talked about the other one i will say these are probably a close tie for first they are such amazing series but this one i started reading at the recommendation of my friend olivia if, olivia if you're watching this hey girl i miss you <laughs> but olivia was um my book friend like obviously we were friends for different reasons but she was my one friend who was into books just as much as i was so we would always talk about books and she would give me recommendations so unfortunately i don't see her anymore so i don't have that awesome book friend anymore which is sad but anyways she recommended this book series to me and i'm so glad that she did because i absolutely freaking love this series it is so so good okay why don't i tell you what the name of it is <laughs> how about that so this is called the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. This is a fantasy series as well, but it's on a topic that I think is less talked about. It's not as common as like the whole vampire and werewolves thing. This is about angels, like fallen angels, regular angels, all that good stuff. It is just it's such a refreshing topic while still being, you know, the fantasy genre that I love. This is about a girl named, what's her name? I can't believe I don't remember her name. Seriously? Okay, Nora, oh, Nora. Nora's her name. I absolutely love that name and it's so different. You never hear anyone with that name. I just, I love that name, but anyway. I just get so excited about reading. Can you tell I'm such a nerd? So this is the first book. Here's the cover. This one is obviously called Hush Hush. There are four books in this series. The next one is called Crescendo. The next one is called Silence. And last but not least, this one is called Finale. So this is the last book in the series. Well, the first one, since it's paperback, it's only about ten books. 10 bucks the rest are hardcover so they're going to be a little bit more expensive but they aren't as new anymore so you can probably get them for cheaper i typically buy my books at barnes and noble i used to love um i don't know if you guys ever went to the store called borders that was oh, i loved that bookstore so much but unfortunately it went out of business so anyways why do i keep rambling okay so if you guys can tell these covers are also super super beautiful you get um a lot of the angel wing action going on so you can see you've got a lot of the angel feathers like the wing feathers flying around the cover and then with this one this is supposed to be nora and then with oh this this one is so beautiful look at that anyways I'm such a fangirl. So I'm going to read the back cover of this to you guys. When Nora and Patch are forced together as lab partners, which is cute, Nora would rather fall to her death than put up with his elusive answers to her questions, his teasing and his infuriatingly handsome face and hypnotizing eyes. It seems Patch was put on earth just to drive her crazy. But before long, Nora's defenses start to break down as her curiosity about Patch heats up. Ooh. Why does he always seem to be wherever she is and know exactly what she's thinking? How does he know what to say to both attract and repulse her? And what is up with those V-shaped scars on his chiseled back? <laughs> at this, at their, what? <sighs> Get it together. As their connection grows stronger, Nora's own life becomes increasingly fragile. Nora needs to decide. Is Patch the one who wants to do her harm, or the one who will keep her safe? Has she fallen for one of the fallen? Okay. Becca Fitzpatrick's New York Times best-selling debut is a page-turning leap into the unknown world of fallen angels. Do you have someone to catch you? Oh. I'm getting so excited about these books it's just making me want to read them but yeah this one is about Nora and Patch there's obviously a love story going on Nora also has a best friend whose name is V I'm pretty sure 
V. V is like the comic relief of this series. She's so funny. She adds a nice humor element to it. But yeah, there's a lot of secrets, mystery, fallen angels, fantasy stuff. It's just a really great, great series. And I just personally, I think it's so well written. And I've cracked up at these books a lot. And they are so, like they get me so emotional. Like I can read, I think I read one or two of these books in a, in a day. Like I sat down and I read the entire book in a day. That's how good they are. But, but then again, that might just be because I'm a nerd. So those are two of my absolute favorite series of all time. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have read any of these series or if you love them. Also, like I said, make sure to give me a suggestion of a new book to read or a book series. I would love to get back into reading. Also, if you guys like this sort of book video, if you do, I will make a book club series. I feel like that would be so fun. Again, nerd. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload something new. I put up new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, so be on the lookout for those. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. No, that's not what I say. I'm saying hey, everyone. Okay. Get it together, Sam. Hey everyone, no I wasn't looking. Okay.